Hey guys, we're back here at Dirty Diesels, and as promised, we're checking out the progress, or in this case, the finished product on the three Peterbilts that Justin Watson brought two Dirty Diesels to be put together and made cool. So, why don't you guys tell me what all was done? Uh, I'll throw in that it's it's 11:45 because Justin needed this truck in a hurry, so yep. the guys it Friday, got it Friday. done. It, it's it is technically it's still Friday, take, yeah. but. What all did you do to this truck? So starting from the front, we did a 20 inch valley chrome bumper, um, set of our bumper lights and brackets. Then we did mirror lights and brackets, air cleaner lights, three light, glass light panels. Um, we did an RLP visor on it, set of glass cab lights. We did a set of seven inch Dynaflex flat tops. Um, going from there, we did a Flush mount deck plate in the, the bed liner, rhino liner finish with a fabricated well, um, custom stainless bulkheads in there, polished plugs, all that. Did a set of hogue built 80 inch half fenders with I 29 rear mounts and hogue built front mounts. Um, we did a set of just new mud flaps and weights on it, and then we fabricated a rear light panel for it, just a five light panel. And I think, oh, I missed, we also did stainless cabin bunker on it. Okay. Is there anything yep. else that I missed anything? No. I don't think so. That's and all that, that's not all of it, but a lot of that was fabricated right in house. So, so I was here when I actually fabricated the, uh, the cabin sleeper panel. Yeah. And uh, the center panel on the back. So yeah. all that was done in house. Now we've just got two more to do for Justin, and he'll be. Rolling in three new nice trucks. Yep, yeah. and I'll keep up with the build on those two. Yeah. So thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Thank yep. you. Thank you.